Greetings in the light and love of our infinite Creator. Throughout the entirety of humanity's history, you have been being guided, protected, controlled, and manipulated behind the veil, by the unseen. These multidimensional beings who have interfered with the human species have grown to be referred to as the angels and the demons. Throughout your known existence, they were given their names by their biblical narratives. However, not all is as it seems, even on the other side of the veil. In your perspective when witnessing these beings, they would actually be considered the same species. And they do all this interference through the veil of the astral plane. Who are these multidimensional beings, and why are they here? We wish to try and give information that may be confusing to some, but needs to be addressed due to the recent bleed over from the astral plane that happened in Miami. Just like every other race in the multiverse, there are positive and negative aligned angelics. In reality, there are two different sets of the angelic species, also known as the Charistus. However, there is a confusion of whom the angelics actually are due to the manipulation of your biblical texts. In ancient times within your time space, the earth became a playground for many other beings from all over the universe. Many beings who had started to come to earth were who you would understand to be the Anunnaki. The first bipedal beings who had begun to evolve on your planet were still very primitive. One of the laws of this universe is to allow for evolution to peacefully occur without outside manipulation. Most of the extraterrestrial beings left early humans alone. However, the story goes that several Anunnaki came to Earth to originally collect gold to save their planet. But in doing so they ended up manipulating the human DNA enhancing it to where the humans became much more advanced in their development. Not all the Anunnaki wanted to enhance the humans, and they were very against keeping humanity around. And even eventually the Earth leader of these Anunnaki, Enlil, who was half Anunnaki and half Reptilian, also worried that humans would become more powerful than the Anunnaki species, and would eventually evolve beyond them. His half-brother, who was not half Reptilian, known to be Enki, fought for humanity and for their sovereignty as a species. The being who was considered to be the Demiurge or the God of the Old Testament of your earthly book the Bible was the extraterrestrial, whose name was Enlil. Enlil is the head of or leader of the dark forces. So wars arose amongst these beings, the Anunnaki and their minions. You must remember that the Anunnaki were no higher than fourth-degree consciousness when they altered the human species. By this time other beings had started taking sides in the big dispute. The choice had been made to keep humanity around, but to keep you blind from knowing your truth. This is when the Charistus, or the Angelics, stepped into the picture. The Infinite Creator had made the divine decree to allow the humans to continue to evolve with the enhancements still in place. This angered many of the Angelics, who also had differences of opinions, and begin to war along with the Anunnaki. This is where we hear of the Fallen Angels. The Fallen Angelics were sent to Earth originally to protect the human species. However, these beings turned against the laws of this universe and the divine order of the Infinite Creator and began to manipulate, deceive, rape, and destroy the human species. Along with their counterparts the negative Anunnaki, the many different reptilian species, and the tall greys. They use humanity as their shield against the forces of the light. This has been being done for thousands of earth years in this time space. You have all heard the story of the fallen angels in biblical texts. These beings were, and still are what are considered, angels. Nothing has changed as far as their appearance. These beings when manipulating humanity often appear as beautiful angels because that is what they are. The ones known as the fallen angels or who are considered the watchers are very real. They hate humanity with a vengeance and will stop at nothing to destroy your species. The Dark Alliance was created between the Dark Angels, 
the negative Anunnaki, the reptilians, the tall greys, and the jinn or demons, or who you would understand as the minions of the dark ones. Their plan was, and still is, to either have total enslavement, or the total destruction of humanity. Nevertheless, on the positive side, the positive Anunnaki, which are in fourth degree consciousness, a species known as the Kurs also fourth degree, and the positive angelics have been actively protecting and defending humanity from the dark's evil plan. This is what you witnessed a few of your Earth days ago. As many of you are aware, there was what would be considered as an extraterrestrial sighting in your area known as Miami, Florida. This incident was seen by close to 100 people. This was a bleed through from the astral plane. The dark forces are being cleared from your astral plane by the positive angelics and positive fourth degree consciousness factions of extraterrestrials. We must remind you that higher degree spectrum species do not battle or fight in wars. Those of us who are higher degree have worked our way through the vibrational spectrum of this universe. This is the ascension process for those of us whose souls are from within this physical universe. However, the angelics do not need to ascend and can alter their vibration how they wish. The angelic species are from beyond the Pleroma and do not need to ascend the way that other species do within this physical universe. The angelics or the Charistus are actually warring amongst their own species. Trying to protect humans, the dark forces use humans as the warring machines within the physical plane of existence. This was never meant to be. Humanity must not war, they must learn to find peace and oneness within, so they can raise in vibration. Humanity is ascending with the earth, and must turn away from the warring nature that has been instilled into their species by the dark ones. The higher dimensionals from the fifth degree spectrum and beyond are here to help the positive angelics. By holding the light space for humanity to ascend out from under the darker species that continue to try and control them. The positive angelics are here to help protect and guide humanity. Each and every human have what is referred to as guardian angels. This is your own personal angels that is assigned to you. These beings are here to assist you but also to protect you from unseen deception and manipulation. Not all beings in this universe have the same assistance as humans do as a species. Humans are very special in this grand design because of your enhancement. The positive angelics felt it necessary to stay involved with humans for their spiritual development out of the lower vibrations and into the higher forms of light. They have made it their sole purpose to be in total service to humanity. You have learned from the ancient texts that the Archangels were split and that Archangel Michael became the main protector of humanity, along with Archangels Gabriel, Raphael, and Ariel. These beings are still warring with their dark counterparts. These beings do still exist, they are immortals, and do interact directly with humanity. As stated before, many different extraterrestrials and multidimensionals incarnate on this planet to work with or manipulate the humans directly. This makes it easier than trying to work through the veil. This includes the angelic species from both factions. The control of your planet runs very deep, even deep manipulation from through the veil. The matrix of deception is collapsing, and this is why you are beginning to witness the different levels of existence. The dark beings that were witnessed were the tall greys who were trying to escape into your physical reality, and was shocked to realize that their cover had been exposed. The reason that there was such a big cover-up is because the dark ones still control the narrative that you hear, but are losing control of what you witness. There is nothing to fear, all is in divine order. The veil is thinning very quickly now, and you will begin to witness more and more of your multidimensional reality. The Dark Ones are scrambling to keep their secrets, but it will all be seen. Our many light workers and starseeds 
have incarnated on the earth to help hold the vibrations needed for the earth to exit the lower spectrums of existence. As you rise in this vibration as a collective species, you will begin to witness much more of what is happening within the astral plane. The veil that the ancient ones placed over your eyes is being removed. You will see all. The veil is the matrix, it is how the dark ones have held their control. That matrix of control is falling away, it is crumbling before your eyes. Stand in the light, dear ones, for all is happening through the divine will of our infinite creator. You are ascending out of the darkness. We witness you, we celebrate you, we honor you, and we love you. In the love and light of the infinite creator, we are the Andromeda Intergalactic Council, here to serve the divine. Channeled by Chelia Wilder at UniversalLighthouse.com Thank you for watching Universal Lighthouse Galactic Messages and Spiritual Teachings. Please use your own personal discernment on all content posted. If you enjoyed the different authors that are shared, please subscribe to their content as well. You can visit our blog page at universallighthouse.com and subscribe to receive daily posts via your email. And while you are there, tune in to Universal Lighthouse Radio, broadcasting 24-7 for your vibrational needs. Again, that's universallighthouse.com.